Hello and welcome. In this video, we want to do some questions about the continuity of a function. We are given this piecewise function f of x is a to the 2x minus 2a if x is greater than or equal to and when x is less than 2, the function is 12. We want to find the value of a or values of a. Find a such that this function is continuous at every x so we want to find a value or values for a that makes this function continuous at every x what this means that the function is continuous at every x this means that the function is continuous in all the real numbers in all of its domain attention the first equation that the function is defined by is a simple polynomial or actually a line a simple line and it is continuous everywhere the other equation is also continuous everywhere the only possible point that this function may be discontinuous is discontinuous is the point that the function the function rules has changed when x is greater than equal to the function is defined by one equation when x is less than 2 is defined by another equation so the possible point that this function can be discontinuous at that point is only 2 so we have to check the continuity of this function at point 2 and for doing that we are going to use the definition of continuity and if you remember from our previous videos about the continuity of a function first for checking the continuity we have to start from the value of the function at that point first we have to find f of 2 if you simply plug in 2 in the function you have to use this equation and if you plug in 2 here it would be 2a to the 2 minus 2a attention we plug in 2 for x and the f of 2 would be 2a to the 2 minus 2a and as you can see the function is defined at 2 now we have to find the right limit and left limit of this function at point 2 remember a function is continuous at a point if the right limit and left limit at that point exists and they are equal to each other so we have to find right limit of f of x when x approaches 2 from the right and limit of f of x when x approaches 2 from the left for finding limit of f of x when x approaches 2 from the right because x approaches 2 from the right x is greater than 2 so we have to use the first equation which is a to the 2x minus 2a again if you simply plug in 2 to find the limit the limit would be 2a to the 2 minus 2a but for the other limit we have to use the other equation of f of x because here x approaches 2 from the left so x is less than 2 and when x is less than 2 f of x is defined as 12 it's a constant function we don't have any x here to plug in so the limit is just 12. but what was the question we want to find value or values of a that makes the function continuous and a function is continuous if the right limit and left limits are equal to each other so for finding a to make the function continuous we have to set the right limit and left limit equal to each other and simply from this equation we can find the value of a if we move the 12 to the left then we have 2a to the 2 minus 2a minus 12 equals 0 simply if you factor 2 we have this for solving this quadratic equation 
You can use the quadratic formula. But because this is an easy quadratic equation, you don't need actually to use the quadratic formula to find a. Simply you can factor it as a minus 3 times a plus 2. Remember, for factoring, we are looking for two numbers that their product is this number, negative 6, and their sum is negative 1. And those numbers are negative 3 and positive 2. From this, we have to set this bracket equal to 0, and then we have to set this bracket equal to 0. From the first bracket, a is 3, and from the second bracket, a is negative 2. So, these are values of A that make this function here continuous everywhere. Let's do another question. We are given this function. f of x is given by these equations x to the 2 minus 1 over x minus 1 if x is less than 1. So f of x is x to the 2 minus 1 over x plus 1 when x is less than negative 1. When x is between negative 1 and 2, f of x is defined by ax plus b by this equation. And when x is greater than 2, f of x is x to the 2 plus bx. As you can see here, we have two unknown in the definition of function f of x, a and b. What is the question? The question is, find value of a and b, find a and b that makes f continuous everywhere. What should be the values of a and b to make this function continuous everywhere? Again, note that this function can be discontinuous at negative 1 and at 2. Why? Because, as you can see, the function f of x changes about these points. When x is less than negative 1, we have one equation. But for greater than or equal negative 1, another equation. And this can make the function discontinuous. But we want to find a and b to make f continuous. What is a? What is b? Similar to all questions we have done so far, for finding A and B, you have to use the definition of continuity. Remember the definition of continuity? A function is continuous if, first of all, if the function is defined at that point. Then the limit at that point should exist, which means that the right limit and left limit exist and are equal to each other. And finally, the limit should be equal to the value. Okay, let us start. First, we start with point negative 1. We want to make the function continuous at negative 1. So we start with point negative 1. First, we have to find f of negative 1. The first condition for continuity is that the function should be defined at that point. And because we want to make the function continuous at negative 1, f of negative 1 should exist and it should be defined. For f of negative 1, which equation we have to use? Of course, this equation, because when x is greater than or equal negative 1, the function is defined by this rule. So f of negative 1 is a times negative 1 plus b. We plug in negative 1 for x. We can simplify this as negative a plus b. Then we have to find right limit and left limit at negative 1. Limit of f of x when x approaches negative 1 from the left and then limit of f of x when x approaches negative 1 from the right. For limit from the left, we use this rule. Because when x approaches negative 1 from the left, x is less than negative 1, so we have to use this rule. 
for finding this limit direct substitution doesn't work because if you plug in negative one numerator and denominator are zero so it's zero over zero which is an indeterminate form so for finding this limit you have to do something you have to factor numerator like this and keep the denominator cancel x plus one from the top with the bottom then you have limit of x minus one over one which is nothing so limit of this if you plug in negative one for x this would be negative one minus one negative two so the left limit is negative two now we have to find limit of f of x when x approaches negative one from the right for finding this limit because x is close to negative one but greater than negative one we use this equation ax plus b so limit of ax plus b if you simply plug in negative one it would be negative a plus b a times negative one is negative a plus b remember that the question is find a and b to make f continuous how we can make a function continuous a function is continuous if the left limit and right limit and the value be equal to each other the left limit is negative two the right limit is, is this and the value is this all of this should be equal to each other these two already are the same but these two are different so we have to set this equal to this and this gives us one equation that can help us to find a and b so we say because we want to make f continuous these two should be equal to each other so basically so far we have negative a plus b should be equal to negative 2 keep this here for a moment now let's jump to the other point now we work on point two we want to find a and b to make f also continuous at two we start with f of two for finding f of two we have to use the middle equation ax plus b because when x is less than or equal to we have that equation if we plug in two we get a times two plus b which is two a plus b now of course we have to find limit of f of x when x approaches two from the right and limit of f of x when x approaches two from the left for limit from the right we have to use the equation that is greater than two x greater than two so the third equation x2 plus bx so limit of x2 plus bx when x approaches two from the right if you plug in two it would be four plus two b but for the other one we have to use the middle equation which was ax plus b as x approaches two if you plug in two it would be two a plus b because we want to make f continuous at two the right limit and left limit and the value should be the same because the right limit and left limit right now is are different we have to make them equal to each other and then from that we get an, a new equation between a and b so to make f continuous this should be equal to this so 2a plus b should be equal to 4 plus 2b we can simplify this equation if we move the 2b to the left or if we subtract 2b from both sides of this equation simply we can get this 2a minus b equals 4 this is our new equation but remember we had one equation here negative a plus b is negative 2 by combining these two equations we can find a and b so we have basically these two equations negative a plus b equals negative 2 2a minus b equal 4 
there are different ways to find a and b you can use elimination method substitution method and other methods but here if you notice let me name the first equation equation number one and this one equation number two if you add equation one to equation two if you add these two equations to each other simply what happens negative b and positive b they cancel each other so again what we are doing here we add the two equations to each other we add left to the left and we add right to the right this is one way of solving system of equations elimination method if we add these two equations to each other in the left we have 2a and a minus a 2a minus a is simply a negative b and positive b they cancel each other nothing remains from b 4 plus negative 2 if we add 4 to negative 2 it would be 2 so a is equal to 2 now for finding b simply you can plug in 2 here for a and then you have negative 2 plus b equal negative 2 and from this b is 0 but the other way that you can solve this system of equation is the substitution method but it's up to you which method you prefer to use for finding a and b i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe in my channel and see you in the next videos